the wild and woolly interwebs, it is I, David, least fit of all of the nerds here. And uh, boy, I tried everything I could to get out of exercise today. I didn't exercise yesterday and and I, I've just been feeling really weird. Like I've been feeling kind of off and a little bit like, almost like I'm permanently motion sickness. It's really messing with my, with my gaming, I gotta say. I mean, nothing bad, but, um, uh, but I, so I tried really hard not to do it, but then I thought, I gotta. So I did, and I, Wish I didn't, but I did, and so I feel better. So this is a burn and learn. This is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son. I'm currently playing Overwatch and doing very well at it. Um, it's also doing very well at dealing with the trolls online. He gets a lot of flack for sounding young, and um, I'm just very proud of the way he's sort of coped with that recently. Like he's just he's handling it like a like a real grown up. Uh, like a he's he's handling it like a guy who sounds a lot older. Uh, I also looking forward to enjoying the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who's currently cooking a chicken. Boy, did I score in the marriage department. Oh, I guess I paused this for too long. Uh, I got the 3D printer ready to go. I'm going to print some more of these um, of these masks for the uh, Michael Guerin Hospital uh, PPE drive. There are these things right here. There you go, these little babies here. So I just provide these. They then sterilize them and pop all the bits on them. They need plastic sheets and elastic bands, and that's what's what they've asked for. So that's what they're getting from me and the uh, tech bandits, as I say. Um, I'm using our Tech Bandits orange color, or Prusa color, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, I should also mention that I hate exercise, so I like to, uh, learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you, the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent way possible. Not live today, sorry, because we got a, we got some family dinner, dinnering to do. We're gonna go watch a movie, I think the new Star Wars one, or the latest Star Wars one. Um, kick back with this chicken that Jane's made, and, uh, hang out. I bought a bunch of treats while we were out Loblaw shopping. Uh, Loblaws being the grocery shop uh, here. My poor parents, they were... They came home from the UK, so they had two weeks where they had to self-isolate. The day before they come out of their self-isolation, and I'm about to bring the car back to them, they get word that if they're over 70, they're not allowed to leave the house right now. So um, so I got this frantic call, not frantic call, I got a call saying, I wonder what groceries taste like. So uh, I did a grocery shop today, which was a heck of an adventure, I'd have to say. Um, where it would normally take like maybe 25 minutes, half an hour in total to like literally get there, drop the stuff off and come back again. Um, this was like a good, well over three hour venture as we did the social distancing and, and uh, uh, I was very impressed actually with President's Choice and Loblaws for the way they, they'd handled that. Um, but it did result in a lot of lineups and it took a long time. But um, yeah, as I say, I don't begrudge it. And I'll tell you, it's worth it to see my happy little parents way down the end of the driveway uh, trying to shout our greetings back and forth. Um, and uh, yeah, I left the groceries at the front door and then and then called them once we sort of, we got back far enough and uh, well, well, way more than far enough, actually. And we, we, so we shouted at each other for a while. We tried the phone. Uh, it was lovely. It was lovely. So it was good to see them. And I'm, I'm glad that they will be well fed. I made sure there were lots of chocolates sort of showing up at random bags and stuff. So, um, so that's done. And of course, my beautiful wife, Jane, was... Like Jane to walk me through it, because I'm like, I'm like high anxiety all the time, anyways. But as soon as you get like any kind of like germ-related thing involved, and then and then people not obeying social distancing and stuff, always holding cigarettes. The weirdest thing is the people who smoke seem to be the ones who just could care less about the whole social distancing thing. Very very strange. Um, uh, and I wish them well. Um, so uh, that was my afternoon, but as a result, I missed out on doing a live stream with Jack Jasper, which I'm very, very sorry about. Jack, I'm so, so sorry. I did get in touch with Jack and let him know, but, but I, I just, I really was looking forward to talking to Jack about his job and doing this kind of like, let's talk in science inspired thing I'm calling great job where you talk to people who love what they do. Uh, and Jack is, is a perfect example. That's somebody who loves what he does, is very good at it. And so I thought I would join him on his stream and then I would just record uh, our chat while he, while he designed some new, new logos and stuff. So I was, I was looking forward to that. I'm sorry I couldn't do that. But as I say, it was kind of worth it to keep the folks happy and fed and all that. Uh, the learn part of my burn and learn. Okay, so I went in to start doing R Studio. So R Studio being the programming language uh, one of the programming languages of choice for um, big data and analytics, that kind of stuff. Um, and I started the course, then I was like, they kept talking about how Python was one of these ones that was more popular for this right now. And I thought, you know what? Python is a much more, for me, has a lot more different things I could be using it for. So I thought, I'm going to start with Python, I'll do RStudio next, um, in that they both do similar things, or can be made to do similar things. So I've started doing Python. Not sure I'm going to love it as a language. I got to say I don't like that formatting comes into play because I suck at formatting. But anyways, we'll see. Uh, so I spent um, my full what did I do? Fifty minutes. Uh, again, I set the torture device at like the full seven, 
and it hurts. Um, and then I do 50 minutes of that, uh, and I try to do that every day. I didn't do it yesterday, but today I just, I really try to get out of it today, but, um, but, but I did, and I'm glad I did, um, so I can eat more for dinner tonight, basically. Um, what other things to tell you? I had the most amazing chat with Pac-Mom. Uh, so Pac-Mom is a friend of ours from Twitch who very kindly donated her like entire afternoon to talk about careers with, with me. We talked about her being a dental hygienist and I cannot believe how many cool geeky things there are that she could find in that job. Um, and, 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 and someone who was so excited and passionate, I just, it made me want to like just drop everything and run off and become a dental hygienist. So I'm, which is exactly what these things are, to, are supposed to do, is to get kids excited about things they wouldn't normally be excited about. So, uh, and I'm amazed that I have any interest in it at all, but, uh, she just made it really exciting. And I talked to her, her son too, who's doing programming, just a great family and just a lovely chat. And I can't wait to share that with you in some way, shape or form. The idea is to, is I want to, I think I'm going to. 3D print some teeth for her, some like training teeth they're called. I'm curious to know what she'll think of them. And then I'm going to import them into Minecraft and I want to put giant teeth in Minecraft to sort of represent her, her, uh, her contribution to what, uh, uh, to what we're doing with these, um, with these chat things. I also had the best tech bandits today. Oh my God. Sorry, it's going to be a long one, but tech bandits today, my little sister Moira, who is a tra who's a teacher, she's trained to be a teacher, um, she was helping me out this week. She helped me come up with a lesson plan and is working on another one and helping me with the notes during it and, and keeping people on track, you know, people like, I don't know, me. Um, and so we had the best session. And we started talking about, well, we had like an impromptu tour of one of the dad's uh, recording studios in the basement, which was really fun. One of, the, one of the kids just took us down and showed us around that and her dad showed us how they, he does music for, for animation. Um, yeah, for animated kids series and stuff. Very cool. And then we started talking about how we could use science, technology, engineering, arts, and math to inspire, uh, no, to inspire, sorry, that's, 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 the, that's, my, that's my tech bandits, to, um, to help out their friends and family during a pandemic. And all sorts of ideas came out. I, I showed them some designs I did in Tinkercad, which was basically like a, it looked like an inner tube with a bunch of spikes sticking out that were two meters long that would just stop people from getting anywhere near you. Um, I showed them some circuits that had sonar sensors to, that could tell you how far away you were. They got very excited about that to such an extent that they are now working, or we are now working on, a little project that would allow you to uh, uh, be warned if someone was in your two meter square, maybe warn them for you. Um, we're looking for it to be able to take temperature so you can see what temperature the people are uh, and also to distinguish them from as they point out trees they don't want they don't want this little app this little um, this little Arduino thing yelling at you just because there's a tree nearby um, and also we're gonna have Bluetooth on it so that you can sort of whitelist people so you can say okay you know mom is fine I can walk with mom she doesn't have to be two meters um, apart so they started sort of iterating through some of this stuff coming up with ideas for how they would um, produce these things how they're gonna build it excuse me, how they're going to code it, all these things. So I was so excited because it made me look really good in front of my little sister. Um, so Tech Bandits, whoa, amazing. Oh, and also Tech Bandits, DSTAT. Our friend DSTAT has just uh, has just given us a ridiculously, um, uh, uh, ridiculously generous um, uh, Patreon uh, gift, uh, which I just, I cannot say, say thank you enough. It's just amazing. Um, and I also got a call from this little company that do, um, that do um, little CAD uh, CNC's, little CNC machines. And they're gonna send me one of those as well. So, so Tech Bandits has really taken off. The kids are so excited because they wanna see, you know, they wanna see things being, you know, cut out as per their um, Tinkercad instructions and stuff. So um, thumbs up for me. Uh, so tonight I'm gonna do a um, movie and chicken with my family. So I'm really looking forward to that. Tomorrow I have, uh, a little bit of a sort of a virtual maker fair thing happening with uh, Country 3D. So keep an eye on that. I'll tweet about that tomorrow morning. Uh, it's about 10.15. Sunday, I expect to see everybody there for episode three of Stargate Atlantis. We're going to lunch on Atlantis again. At least Sebastian and I will. Um, not sure if Mum will join us or not. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll watch the show, a little simulcast. And um, so if you've got uh, if you've got a Patreon um, or a, or a um, uh, subscription to our Twitch uh, I will try to answer your questions, do your shout outs, all that kind of stuff. But um, again, this week, big thanks to Jack Jasra, who I totally had to bail on today, uh, to Pac Mom for her amazing dental hygienist um, uh, career chat, to DSTAT for not only the great 
career discussion that I had with him, but also for his incredibly generous um, Patreon uh, uh, donation that is going to just, uh, wow, it's just going to set us up in a, in a beautiful way. So um, I am, uh, I'm really quite excited. So have a great weekend. I'll probably see you tomorrow anyways, but uh, until we geek again, sweaty or not, it better be sweaty because that means I've exercised. Cheerio!